continue to rise in Belmont County. The health department held a vaccine clinic at the Ohio Valley Mall earlier today. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Steve Moore. And I'm Catherine Guyon. It was the first of many, and they saw a good response from people seeking everything from their first, second, or third shot, as DK Wright tells us now. Today, we're, we have all the shots with us. So we have the J&J, &J, we have the Pfizer, and we have the Moderna, and we have the flu shot. So you can get your first shot, your second shots, again, the Moderna and the Pfizer, because J&J &J only has the first shot. Um, or you can get your third or booster shot, depending on if you're immunocompromised or not. Uh, they're making it clear this, this fall that you can get the flu vaccine and the COVID vaccine at the same time. Well, the only thing they suggest is to do it in opposite arms. People coming in had no qualms about wanting the vaccine. I'm getting my second dose of the COVID vaccine because I want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. I think, I think you're foolish if you don't take advantage of it. Healthcare professionals, many volunteering their time, helped make it a streamlined, efficient process. Whether it's the COVID vaccine, the flu shot, we want to be here to make it safe. It's saving lives. In Belmont County, the numbers of active COVID cases, hospitalized patients, and deaths continue to rise. We're still seeing a high number of people within the county. Also, the hospitals are also seeing a large influx of people. So again, people that are eligible, we're suggesting that's a good idea for them to come out and get the shot. There are more clinics scheduled in the coming weeks. In Belmont County, they have 10,000 or 1,008 1, active cases right now, excuse me, with 18 in the hospital and 127 deaths. Looking across.